Oh, it looks, that looks like a decent slice, isn't it? It does. It's, it's some shape, like it doesn't lose shape at all. Look at that. I think a uh, paved door I might say zero flop on Apple Boys. Yeah. <laughs> Boom! <laughs> that was a bloody loud one, mate. That was really loud. We're down at a voice wing and pizza shop. So what do we got, get? We got wings and pizza. You changed the route, mate, you know what pizza, I mean? Pizza, pizza and wings. And yeah. wings and pizza, yeah. Pizza and, I thought it was just voice pizza. We're now on uh, Marion Street or Marion Square. It's Marion, Marion Street. Marion Street, I think. As far as I know, don't quote me on it. Dublin Town. Right in the middle of Dublin Town here. Smack bang in the middle. It's a cold little day as well, isn't it? It's very cold. Oh my god. It's like two degrees here. It's absolutely <laughs> freezing. Um, what do you say my jacket looks like? E17. Uh, stay another day, isn't it? That's the song? Yeah, I'll pop, pop the Christmas it track. Yeah, there we go. Uh, so what do we get? I'm eager to get into this slice of pizza real fast, so. Here we are. All right, so we're looking at the uh, 10 wings, 13.50 with blue cheese and a Mark slice, six euro. Six quid for sliced pizza. It's like, it's actually mental, but it's normal price. Like, I'm gonna say it's normal price, then everyone in the comments is gonna be like, oh, six euro for a sliced pizza is mental. I completely concur. We're living in a crazy age, man, but yeah, it is but, normal. Uh, that's a normal price for a thing. Uh, Shout out for the, the actual inside the place. It's like, uh, John was remarking, it's like a London hipster. Oh, you feel like you're in Soho or something, man. And it's like the, the menu is on a projector. And the menus, other menus are on like a contractor's like, board. It's where, uh, it's yeah, you get like a little notepad. Yeah. With the menu on it. Um, so we, we feel a little bit out of place. This is light as. Yeah. Oh my. I Wait about 15 gonna... minutes, but it was uh, very busy. So, I thought it was going to be huge, man, this, this slice. Oh, oh, it looks, that looks like a decent slice, isn't it? It does. It does. Has what do you think? On it. Full job. Six quid. Oh, that looks like a nice slice of pizza, mate. Under carriage and everything, yeah, it looks unbelievable, man. Have a look at that. Oh my days, yeah. Doesn't Class, it? Yeah. Size, like six quid, is this billion for lunch? I mean, it's still pretty expensive, no matter what way you slice it. No pun intended, anyway. <laughs> but yeah, you know. Uh, get in the comments. Give us a, give us a little sub, lads. Uh, subs help a lot. And the comments. Someone actually left a comment on the last video and said, um, "Not really sure what to say, but I'll leave a comment anyway." And that helps. <laughs> that that helps great. massively. E every little help. Yeah. What are we thinking? It's it's some shape. Like it doesn't lose shape at all. Look at that. I think I. Paved door, I might say zero flop on Apple Boys. Yeah. Um, real salt, real, uh, salt was the first thing I tasted. And I'm not getting a huge kick off the, uh, the smell. <laughs> I thought we were going to be parking in here for an apple. We're just running again. Come Boy. on, John, you want to spin the 360? Absolutely, man. I'll walk out this way. I think, <laughs> I don't know if we are or not. We are literally, we've done most of what we do was at land. And we're back, mate. It's um, it's really, really salty. <laughs> I just thought you got a big taste of basil in your mouth. There, ate the whole thing. Like, it looks so much better than it is. Are you getting the the, the sauce coming through? You know what I mean? I'm or not getting it? any oh. taste of um, of the sauce. All I'm getting is cheese and like salt. Like, I think I've said salt so many times, right? I'm, I, I understand, mean, but that's that's all you're getting. Let me get a bit of crust. It looks well cooked, and obviously with the structure and everything, you know what I mean? It, it is. But it's, it could it be the ingredients letting it down? It's not doing a whole lot for me. No, yeah. I was really expecting this to be like one of the top spots oh. in Dublin. Man, I can tell you, it looks aesthetically, man, it looks insanely good. Like. I'm gonna give you a taste after, and you can. Yeah, 100%. I was going to get a full pizza, but I'm not going to eat a full pizza. So, and most people like win there, they're going to slice. So that's better to write like that. Isn't Absolutely. It? And the thing is, it's not as if you get it instantly, man. We were waiting a we little waiting. bit. So. We were waiting 15, 20 minutes in there. Right, so um, wings, 10. As I said, the service in there was lovely. I was asking the girl, I said I wanted wings. She said, do you want 10 or 20? I said uh, 10. 
And she said, what's, do you want hot or medium sauce? And I said, what's, what do most people get? She said, medium. She said, uh, she said, what dip do you want? You get a dip with it. And I said, what dip do most people get? And she goes, <laughs> blue cheese. She was, she was very accommodating. Most people just rolled her eyes. She was very nice. Uh, game of minds on that one, yeah. Blonde hair, very nice. Don't know, I didn't get the name. 13.50 for 10 wings. All you think about a Euro wing is, is fair and reasonable. I think if you're going over a Euro wing, it's, it's getting into... Because they're, like, they look delightful. They do. But they, they look, they're, they're, they're quite small. I like the little small wings. There's a lot of flavour to them. Didn't people say it's it's how it's cooked? That's why they shrink or something like that? Yeah. If but they're double fried, the, the actual wings shrink and they're proper chickens. They're not filled with steroids. If there they're we smaller, go. apparently. Cheers. Let's see what they taste like. They definitely smell unbelievable. But it's, it's the franks. They're fresh. Look at the bone. Look how white that bone yeah, is. Straight away you can tell it, yeah. Are you a fan of blue cheese sauce, eh? I wouldn't be the biggest fan, but I'll try it. Where, where is it? Where is it? Oh, it's under the pizza. Lovely. They're, they're very nice. They're very nice. Yeah. They've got a kick them, but they're not too, uh, too hot as they're, as they're medium. 20 of them. I'd absolutely devour 20 of them. Right, let's go. Blue cheese dip. Dublin town. We have an idea, we're going to do um, a few 3am food reviews <laughs> in Dublin city, like right in the middle of the city. That's going to be mayhem, man. Where people go after they've had a few beers. I'd say that is going to be the most entertaining videos of Actually, ever. In the comments as well, where's the, where's the best drunk spot that you go yeah, to in know, town? Yeah, after, after a night in town. Because we will hit there. Here we go. That's a big boy, man. That's a, that's a huge wing. Yeah, we'll be in there. That's a big old boy. Yeah. Blue cheese, what's it saying? Yeah, you didn't, go, you didn't skimp on the sauce either. What were you thinking? That was a really nice blue cheese. Yeah. Fragrant. Big flavours off it. Big flavours off it. One of the nicest blue cheeses I've had. It's not overbearing or anything like that. It's really, really yeah, good. Yeah. Big flavour, but not overbearing. Score out 10 on this one. Oh, you can see how fresh that chicken is, yeah? Yeah, and the, the amount of time we were waiting in a good way, it shows that they were obviously cooking it fresh. They are juicy. I'm really disappointed with that pizza slice. And I'm fully aware if you're watching at home, you're going to be like, what are you talking about? Yeah. It looks unbelievable. I agree, it looks unbelievable. There's no taste off the tomato sauce. There's no, um, there's no strong flavors off the tomato sauce. You're getting the, all you're getting is cheese and salt. Yeah, it's, it genuinely yeah. does look amazing. <laughs> There's no doubt about it. I thought it was going to be up there with the top slices, uh, Bambino and um, De Fontaine. Yeah. Argue amongst yourselves which is better, but that's not up there at all. The wings are bringing this up massively. They're some of the best wings I've had. That's, that's a good claim as well, because wings are everywhere. They are some of the best wings I've had. But 13 euro 50 for 10 of them, I have to bring it down on price a little bit. Price taste experience. Experience was lovely. Waiting a little bit long, but it's a busy spot. Six euro for that. I wouldn't get that again. Um, Thirteen fifty for them. I'd get. I think it was twenty for twenty-one euro. So it's almost a euro wing if you're getting twenty. Maybe as well with the with the ingredients on the pizza, like pepperoni and all. It could be a lot better. You know yeah. what I mean? Let's do it. Let's do it. Thing. The staple of a pizza is can you serve yeah. a cheese slice? They can't. But these are fantastic. I'm going in. Real conflicting sort of review here, isn't it? Mm. Oh, absolutely. I know the abuse I'm going to get because people are going to say that's unbelievable. I can tell what you're about to say. I'm going. I know what I'm going to say. Well, guess, guess the score. 6.8. Wow. No, no, no. I'm going no. higher than that. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, I'm going higher than that. I'm going in at 7.9. Okay, that was very awesome. Yeah, no, yeah. The, wings are, the wings are exceptional. Jeez, that's it's just a little bit expensive and the, the pizza's not good. Um, like fellow who shared, nothing wrong with it. Yeah. Nothing wrong with it. Personal preference, maybe. Come down. I'd be interested to see what you actually think of that if you're around the area. Come down. Put me to the test to see what you think. Like fellow share from where we'll see you in the next one. Cheers.